Shalom, Christopher Enoch here. You know, the very people who always talk about the unconditional love of God, you know, that it's all about the love of God, and it's all about showing the love of Jesus, it's all about Jesus showing His love to other people. These are the first people to reject me, to block me, to ignore me, to cast me out. These are the same people that say, well, you know, it's all about the unconditional love of God. It's all about showing the love of Jesus to the world. As soon as I come against their doctrine, they're the ones that reject me. They're the ones that cast me out. They're the ones that block me on social media. They are the hypocrites, okay? It's like, thank you very much for demonstrating that love. You know, these people that say that God loves everybody the same and Je it's all about the unconditional love of God for everybody. It's all about showing the love of Jesus and just how Jesus loved everybody. You know, praying for people saying, oh, that you, that, praying Jesus, show, show this person how much you love them. And oh, you know, oh, Father, let the love of God come upon them. And, and Father, let them feel that your love for them. Let them know how much you love them. Let them know how much Jesus loves them and all this kind of stuff. As soon as I start kind of talking to them about, well, what does the Bible really say? You know, what do the scriptures really say about the love of Jesus? When I start talking about how Jesus angered so many people, how he called people sons of Satan, sons of hell, vipers, hypocrites, whitewashed tombs, all this kind of stuff. You know, these people, they're, they're the first ones to say... You know, that's it. I had enough. Uh, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Uh, you know, don't come to my church anymore or, you know, or whatever. They, they're the first ones to reject me and to block me. Okay. This is, this is to show the hypocrisy of these kind of people. See, I'm, I'm the kind of person. I'm a person who I don't believe that God loves everybody the same. If you read the scriptures for what it says, if you read the Bible for what it says, you cannot Come to the conclusion that God loves everyone the same without really ignoring a lot of scripture, okay? And this is what I say to these kind of people. I say, well, you know, Jesus went around, he called lots of people hypocrites. So can you imagine if you're a pastor, you walk in church today and then your pastor comes and, and confronts you and says, you're nothing but a whitewashed tomb. You know, you think you're good, you're, you call yourself a Christian. But you're like a, a a pretty grave with stinking, filthy, you know, rotten bone, rotten body inside. You're a whitewashed tomb. Would you go away from that pastor going, "Oh, I really feel the love of that pastor. Oh, I really, I, I, you know, that pastor really loves me. I think I'll tell everybody how loving pa this pastor is." Can you, can you imagine going to church, talking to Pastor John, and, and Pastor John turns to you and says, you are a son of Satan. You are not a child of God. You are a child of Satan. You, you, God is not your father. Abraham is not your father. The devil is your father, and you are a liar, and you tell lies because your father is a liar, and you follow in the footsteps of your father because he was a liar from the beginning, and that's all he knows is lies. Now, would you walk out from that church and say, oh, Pastor John is just, I, I, I just adore how much he loves me. Oh, he loves me so much. I'm going to tell all my, all my family, all my friends how much Pastor John loves me. Would you? Would you really? Would you? I think the answer is obvious, okay? There's a lot of people that Jesus confronted. There are a lot of people that Jesus talked to, and he wasn't all nice to them, okay? He was confrontational. He was pointed to the point, sharp in his words, so much so that they, it angered them so much that they wanted to kill him over and over again. They tried to kill him. They tried to push him off a cliff. They tried to stone him in John chapter 8 until finally they did corner him, so to speak, and they did crucify him. And all the people were yelling, crucify him. You see, as uh, Leonard Ravenhill said, if, the, if Jesus preached the same way that the pastors preach today, he would never have been crucified. So does Jesus love everyone? You know, I mean, it says in the scriptures, even among the disciples, there was the disciple whom Jesus loved. Now, 
that kind of singles out one disciple and puts the other 11 to the side. So there's like one disciple, obviously, that was a favorite, okay? One that received the love of Christ that the other ones didn't receive. It was the disciple that Jesus loved, okay? That's just among the disciples. That's not even the world, so to speak. I mean, Jesus said in John chapter 7, the world hates me hates me. Why? Because I testify, I preach, I tell them that their deeds are evil. Evil. Okay? Did, the, you know, did Jesus say, oh, you know, if, if you follow me, the world will, will just love you because the world loves me because I just love them. Now, think about it. Let's unlearn. It's time for you to be unschooled of all of this you know, false doctrine that you've been taught ever since you were a child, that Jesus loves everyone all the same. It is not in the Bible. And these hypocrites that say that Jesus loves everyone the same, say that God loves all everyone the same, unconditional love for everybody, that God is love and all this kind of thing. I mean, they take it way out of context. They just, they just cherry pick verses and they, and they make God into something that he's not. Yes, it says God is love, but it also says God is judge. It also says God will throw people into hell. It also says that God is one to be feared because it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Okay, so yes, God is love, but love does not love sin. God, love does not love darkness. Light does not love darkness. As it says, God is light as well. God is holy. Holiness does not love unholiness. It's very, very simple. Light does not love darkness, okay? God is light, it says, but light does not love darkness. So to say that God is love and to just universally, you know, absolutely and universally apply it to everything and everyone everywhere is just completely false. It's taken it way out of context. It's taken one verse, cherry picking verses here and there and just painting a picture of God that you like. But when you are confronted with the truth about God's love, then you block that person. Then you reject that person. All because you believe in God's love. You hypocrite. You hypocrite. Yes, you are a hypocrite. So you prove, you prove that your doctrine is a doctrine of double standards. So remember, for those of you who know what I'm talking about, and for those of you who understand and believe what I'm talking about, know that it's true. Remember, the next time someone who says to you, oh, it's all about the unconditional love of God, it's all about Jesus, just feeling the love of Jesus, and Jesus is loving everyone. If you confront that person and start talking about the love of God, how Ananias and Sapphira really, really felt the love of God, okay? God killed them. Herod, oh, he really, really, really felt the love of God, okay? God killed him and just supernaturally created worms to eat him up on the spot, okay? That's the love of God. For That's the unconditional love of God, okay? So next time you talk to someone who, who is always talking about the unconditional love of God, God loves everybody, Jesus loves everybody, it's all about showing the love of Jesus to the world, if you tell them these verses, if you start confronting them about their false doctrine, I tell you something. I tell you by experience. They're hypocrites. They'll block you. They'll ignore you. They'll kick you out. So this video is to expose the hypocrisy, double standard, and false doctrine of those who preach the unconditional love of God.